Hey everybody! What is Welcome doing? to Vast Differences. We are back again. We have come in here with some new rules for today's episode. Yeah. Rule number one. You can't just say that, like, well, I like comedy or I like, you know, whatever specific genre. I like food. Yeah, you have to be specific in yeah. the debate and you have to be willing to debate it no matter what. You can't just brush the surface. Number two is that we will, Austin and I will each explain why we love it and why we're defending our choice. And then once we get that out of the way, there's no time limit on that. But then the 25 minutes starts after we each say our piece. So, is everybody ready to rock and roll? Yeah, we gotta so, tell them what it's about, though, too. Right, well, that's the whole point. So, oh, so ahead and tell them what y'all put on the Instagram poll for mm -hmm. today. If you've seen the Instagram poll, then you know today we are fighting for Mexican food versus Chinese food. So, Austin, you go ahead and you explain which side you're taking and why. Before I do that, okay, make sure that every Sunday night, you check for a poll. I didn't do it today, but usually from now on, Sunday after the new episode of 1722 comes out, I'll be putting a poll out because Vast Deference will be, you know, the next. We record week. them on Mondays and then they'll be released on yeah. Wednesdays. So, so you'll be getting the, us on Sundays and Wednesdays from here on out. Yes. All right. So go back to the battle. I, or have we started yet? <clears throat> Are we started this battle? You're just yeah. explaining your side, oh, I'm, oh, okay. what you're defending okay. here. Uh, well, I'm defending Mexican food. You're not defending it yet, just so you know. You're no, just I know. explaining. I'm, just, okay. I know. I'm defending Mexican food, okay? I love it because burritos are the greatest thing on the planet. If you haven't had Mexican food, there's a whole lot of spices, a whole lot of herbs and shit that uh, you don't really get anywhere else, to be honest. You don't get caranitas. You don't get taquitos anywhere else. I like you know, a good quesadilla. Stuff. Yeah, he loves quesadillas, you know, all those stuff, tortillas. All that, and that's why I love it because it's funny to talk and it tastes great. So, there you go. Okay, well then that means obviously I'm taking Chinese. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Chinese food. I will say that I am a fan of both foods, but we had to take a side. I went with Chinese. And oh yeah, yeah. Let's let's clarify that real quick. I fuck with Chinese food, but if I had to choose, which is exactly what's happening today, the other one can uh, go kill itself. But when that 25 minutes starts. Austin no longer likes Chinese, yeah, and I Chinese no longer food. like Mexican. Yeah, they brought us COVID. Right, there you go. So, burrito 19. Burrito, <laughs> burrito 19. <laughs> All right, so I think we got that out of the way. Yeah. I guess we can start 25 minutes, and because I believe in Chinese fo food so much, I'll even let you start the debate. <sighs> wow. <laughs> okay. You didn't even say why you like Chinese yeah. food so much. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, I don't feel like I need to, but... Okay. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's, it's, we'll, we'll, it's like, we'll give you a 25 minutes. Yeah. You can, I, I'll defend it in 25 minutes. All I'll right. do it when that time comes. All right, let's get it. You ready? Right. Who's yeah. going first? Austin. All right. You yeah. ready, Austin? Yeah. All right. All day. Right now. All right, so here's the reason why Chinese food sucks compared to Mexican food, okay? When you walk into a Mexican restaurant, they say, hey, sir, where would you like to sit? They get you the menus. They bring you the fucking chips and salsa. The Chinese buffet or Chinese restaurant, whatever the fuck you want to consider, they don't bring you shit. And if they do bring you shit, the refills are fucking half. They're never full to the brim. Okay? But, but they're still Mexican giving you refills. Shit. Hey, hey, hey. But you're not even allowed to talk uh, yeah. right now. No, that was, that was taken out of the rules, bitch. Not, not in this so mind. This mind will always be there. Well, so if good you don't, thing I'm in charge of making the rules, huh? So it's a full 25-minute debate? Yeah, we're going 25 minutes arguing. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we have to go we back and do forth. This, so uh, if you bring me drinks to the table... They better be fucking full to the brim. And not a single Asian has ever done that at a Mexican restaurant. Or at a Chinese restaurant. Oh, fuck it. Who cares? But Mexican, right? They care about you. The cup runneth right over. They, yeah, they'll fucking pour it to where you're like, Oh, I, I can't even drink this much, but that's what I want. <laughs> right? When you get a burrito, it's spilling all over the plate. The sauce is going over there because they want to give you everything. Chinese food, okay, will give you little portions. Mm -hmm. Because they're trying to make you healthy. But all Mexican food, no matter where you go, tastes exactly the same. That's not true. Have you had Taco Bell? Name a single other Taco restaurant. Bell is not Mexican, and ta Taco Bell is not on the table for this. <laughs> it is 100% on the table. It's Mexican food. Are you fucking serious? I mean, if that's if what you want to take if you the wanna, debate, If then you sure. want to come at me and say that P.F. Chang's or Shogun or any of that's not fucking real Chinese food, but Taco Bell isn't real Mexican, oh, okay. fuck out of here. Then, yeah, they're stingy on the barbecue chicken, and I love the barbecue chicken. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, but Mexican is a certain type of food. Taco Bell is the lowest form of that. It's not even when real When you go meat. to Taco Bell and you say barritos, 
you're Mexican. They know what you're talking about. You can't go to McDonald's. How many and Mexicans say are going to Taco Bell? I don't give a it's, fuck if they are. All, I'm going. It's to Taco primarily Bell. white motherfuckers that right love Taco Bell. If you're Mexican and you don't go to Taco Bell, fuck off. If you're Mexican and don't go to Mexican restaurants, fuck off. I don't give a shit if you go to these or not because I go to them. I choose to go to Taco Bell, right? Right. I don't give a fuck if it's not real Mexican or not. Okay, Because well, it tastes like fucking real Mexican. With Chinese, though, yeah. you get to have a variety at all times, and it can all taste different. And yes, you can go to, like, a buffet, and that's mm-hmm. what you're basing off of your... Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, are you kidding that's me? That's where you're basing your waitress yeah. etiquette 100%. here. 100%. I would never... I would never go to a Chinese restaurant in my fucking life. If it's not a buffet... Get the fuck out of here. Then you're missing out on real good Chinese. No, because no. Yes, because a buffet, it's sitting there for fucking hours. Yeah, that's what's good It's about not it. fresh, quality food. Neither is I'm not saying Caesars. that you won't see me at a buffet. Of course you will. Yeah. But I'm saying there's good quality food that you're missing out on by only going to the buffet. Okay. Because so that shit's not fresh. What's your favorite meal on both? Like, Okay. Right, you get started, so I'll, you can start now. Sure. For me, it is the lo mein noodles with General So on top. I could eat that every day for the rest of my life. It's General the greatest Sal. food. General, yeah, I don't know yeah, how you General say it. So, he didn't even pronounce the T. Yeah. Fucking racist. Yeah, General Ho. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> General T. So. General T. So. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, mine is okay. 100%, like I said, anything you put in a burrito. You can put corn in a burrito and I'm going to eat that shit. You can put spam in a burrito and I'm going to But that shit that doesn't shit. make a Mexican food. But this you is... can't just put anything in a burrito and call it Mexican. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying he asked me what my favorite meal is. So that's what I was getting to. Right. Any burrito that a Mexican restaurant serves. Unless it fucks with shrimp because I don't fuck with seafood. But okay. if you give me a burrito. Oh, okay. How about this? I'll take the burrito because I already said that. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'll take my number one when I go to a Mexican restaurant. The Ez Special. I've never gotten it once, but I've seen it and it looks great. So I'll go I've with that. It. I love I've it. Had it. Yeah, yeah. chicken, I get that a lot. chicken, goat, cheese, and rice. Yeah, yeah. you can't beat that. That's something right. something yeah. for me. You yeah, know yeah. What I'm it's, saying? it's good shit. It. So go to your local fucking Mexican restaurant. Oh, let's be honest. Probably in like L.A., they probably don't have. I'll that say this: shit, the so. best part of a Mexican restaurant <laughs> by far is the chips and salsa. The fact that you get in there and you can just sit down mm-hmm. and immediately have that waiting for you. Mm-hmm. That is that is one positive to the Mexican and side the that I always give. Stupid hot, you know. You can always hear it. You can always sizzling when the, it comes to you uh, uh, but does it not weird you out that when you order your foods out four minutes later no matter how big of your table you're i at? don't care because uh. i eat beefaroni out of the can <clears throat> so i don't give a shit if it's cold or not i right but when i'm buying a can of beefaroni i know i'm spending a dollar six or mm-hmm. whatever the fuck it is to warm it up in a microwave i expect that mm-hmm. but if i'm going out to eat and i'm spending 15 bucks on a meal mm-hmm. and you bring it out right after i ordered something about that's not right Something tells me you had it pre-made. Mm-hmm. You're warming it up and you're bringing it out. And you're trying to act like this is top-notch food. And it's not. Well, no. Because at least at a Chinese buffet, you can be like, well, that's a buffet. It's supposed to sit there a long time. But you're ordering food okay. that's supposed to be ready. Right. And if we come in there with 15 people at a table, and like I understand if you're one person and you order, your food comes out. Mm-hmm. That's great. But if you have a whole table and we've been in this situation oh, yeah. where it comes out right after... There's something going on there that's not okay. But uh, one thing that you're not taking into consideration, and I agree. I agree with all that. There is something weird about it. But I would much rather wait five minutes to get a full hot meal than to go at 10.30 a.m. and then eat the food that someone else didn't finish the day before. Because that's what Chinese buffets do. They take the food that was off the plates on the tables, they scrape that shit into the pan, mix it in, cook it. And don't tell me that's not a fucking lie, because every person that's ever went into a Chinese buffet has seen that shit. Oh, yeah, for sure. Everyone but I'm not fighting for the Chinese buffet. But you're, so eating, like... but you're eating other people's mouths when you do that. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Oh, we. Yeah, and I hate to break it to anyone out there, but that's all restaurants. <laughs> yeah, I've never... So I've let's never, get that out of the yeah, fucking I mean, line. All geez. restaurants are pre-made. All restaurants are not always scratch fucking surface. So that argument is bullshit because I work at a restaurant Mm -hmm. and you guys fucking have that shit last all day. And then the next morning we'll reheat that fucking shit up. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Pre-made. So I I seen (laughs) it. I see, yes, it. I see it with ribs. my eyes, <laughs> ribs, yeah, and all kind of shit. Yeah. I was like, "Wow, I'm baffled." And so, if you're Man, gonna, make... we still ate at Rippies the other day. So <laughs> this is this is irrelevant. Back to <laughs> <laughs> but we will save that for seventeen point two, hundred percent. But if you're going to say, if you're going to argue, but there's a difference in something buffet... being pre-made because certain things can be pre-made mm-hmm. and you can heat them up and there's not a problem. Like hot, but dogs. even when things are being pre-made, mm-hmm. you still have a form of cooking it still like fresh 
Yeah. Because you're blanching things. Okay? <laughs> she was my favorite character on Golden Girls. Hey, Blanche. Uh, shout out Rose. Yeah. And oh, you God. put things aside you prep them up Mm -hmm. and then you do it halfway so it's just blanched yeah and then you cook it the rest of the way Mm -hmm. and they could be doing that at the mexican restaurant Mm -hmm. i don't know never worked at one and i don't think i will Mm -hmm. but well you're not allowed to that's what i'm saying and but still when you're feeding 15 20 people and it all comes out immediately Mm -hmm. that tells me that the entire plate is ready to go not just the one burrito (laughs) I don't see any problems with this argument. I'm fucking being like, yeah, let's get this shit out. I don't like eating for hours. I don't, I, I like the whole, like, it comes out in 10 minutes. If it comes out in 30 seconds or 30 minutes, it's food. It's going in my stomach. Not I'm to shitting mention, it later. When you go to Chinese food, you also get a bonus treat at the end. What? You get your food and then you get a fortune cookie. Yeah, which no one Shout eats. Shout out to the fortune cookie. Fuck I that fortune cookie. I always eat the fortune cookie. cookie. And, I have, and I get I, to read what I possibly really, could be going on really in my it, life. You know I break them apart, and while you guys are fucking congregating, be like, oh, these taste so great. I'm just fucking... Because that's what they look like. You break them apart, they look like spaceships. Yeah. But you taste it, and it tastes like a vanilla queef or whatever. It tastes <laughs> fucking terrible. Well, if you just okay. bite into a fortune cookie, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, wow. Every family member in my entire fucking will, family. Wait, wait, wait. What I the will, fuck are you spilling? You you eat fortune cookies. Yeah, I eat fucking fortune That's cookies. That's what he's talking about. Yeah, but, but not in the way he's talking about. I, I eat them too, but like, yeah, I'm saying like... If You're you, making if you, it sound you, like okay. I bite the whole yeah. fucking fortune <laughs> cookie with the paper inside. No. After I finish the no, cookie, then no. I pull it out said that? and read it all soggy. No. No. In fool's fuck. shit. Like yes. a bite, but no. Sometimes I just like break a piece off and just you know what I'm saying, eat it. Like you can't just eat. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Paper. Okay. I thought you were saying you were that the, you thought no. that I'm eating the whole paper. And you everything. were the only Why one that thought that. Do that. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I'm, that's why I'm defending myself. <laughs> like I might exactly. be fat, but I draw the line of paper. <laughs> Your stomach is just a big wad of paper. Yeah, like, yeah. Let me know when you see somebody do that. <laughs> After I ate it, my stomach just got all the lucky numbers across it. <laughs> 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 you become the biggest lottery winner. <laughs> but, but it's true, though. Like, nobody I know genuinely looks forward to the fortune cookie. No one's like, oh, man, I can't wait to get past all this shit and get me to the fortune cookie. Are you fucking nuts? You look forward to it. It's a part of the No experience. one looks forward to it like that. I do. So you're Stop telling saying me. no one because, because motherfucker, you're so looking at me, and I do actually, look forward I'm not, to it. Because if I look at you, I'm just going to get more angry. So you're <laughs> telling me that when you go to a Mexican or a Chinese restaurant yeah. or buffet, because fuck the restaurant, because you're not going to get a fortune cookie anywhere else. So when you go to a Chinese buffet, <clears throat> yeah. okay, mm-hmm. before you even enter they the restaurant. They handle fortune cookies at every Chinese restaurant, so clear that up. Now. I wouldn't know. That's, if yeah. you go into a Chinese buffet, mm-hmm. you're telling me that you're looking forward to the fortune cookie more than the general so, more than the chow mein, Bitch, more no than one the ever said rangoons. more. No one ever said more. Exactly. I said I was looking forward to it. Exactly. Okay? So here's yeah, my point. Fix your I points. Look, I look forward to it because what I do is I wait until the fortune cookies come out. Mm-hmm. Then I go up to the bar and I get my ice cream. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. Then I take those then fortune you. cookies and then I break them up and put them in my ice cream and then it's a little bit crunchy, a little bit sweet and it's delicious. Yeah, it's and def- I look forward to <laughs> it that. Is it is bits. It is definitely country. You got that right 100 it's Who definitely said country, country? No you one just did. did i did not oh well, it sounded crunchy. like it crunchy crunchy yeah. i'll go with crunchy it's funnier but uh so we got this <laughs> country fuck over here who puts his vanilla wafers and ice cream at a chinese buffet just let me know now i'm win just based I, off that comment alone. i love <laughs> okay i love vanilla everything wafers. else is nullified from this point on <laughs> i love vanilla wafers vanilla wafers are also in banana pudding you can't have banana pudding without a vanilla wafer that's just delicious you yeah, gotta have it Yes, I can. Yeah. I'll have, <laughs> I'll have it with vanilla ice cream or something. I will I hate eat banana. I will eat banana it. pudding without any wafer and not bitch at all. Uh, well, then I guess some yeah. people can. Uh, but I feel like and you're also out on another the, reason. The whole thing. Let's just uh, point this out: Chinese buffet or Chinese restaurant, they stand at the table waiting for you to tip them. When I hate to break it to you, it's but happened, you didn't but that's do not shit. At that time. That's happened four Stop times. Stop holding everybody to one it's standard that happened times, to you one and time they didn't ten give years me ago. good refills, so fuck that restaurant, right? Right. But that doesn't happen every you time you go. You stand at the table waiting for a tip. Never have I been to a Mexican restaurant and they have that. Also, also, the women that work at Chinese places ain't as thick as the women that work at Mexican. So I'm just saying, <laughs> I win another point there, too. So, I mean, okay, sure. Yeah. Uh, well, if we're going to get down to it, it, you can call me whatever you want, but I prefer Asian women over Mexican women. Whoa, so. hey. We were yeah, talking we about this the other day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Next episode, uh, Asian women versus uh, uh, Mexican women. <laughs> 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 can't talk about that. <laughs> 
Uh, fuck it, put it in. Uh, so yeah, that, that's all I have to say. But I feel like uh, I've already won, so you can. Uh, get <laughs> you have points. What I'm okay. So add a couple things. So mm-hmm. let's break down the actual food. Mm-hmm. Me personally, mm-hmm. I prefer the taste of Asian zing with a little bit of ginger. Throw in some water chestnuts. Throw Sweet in all the sauce. Stuff. Is great. That's what I'm saying. God all damn. that shit. And then you get Mexican food, and it's primarily taco seasoning on everything. Mm-hmm. Not that it tastes bad. I'm not saying that. I like Mexican food, but I'm saying. There's more things at a Chinese place that you can kind of pick and choose different tastes and flavors and textures, but you can't really do that with Mexican food. No matter if you're eating fajitas, you're eating tacos, burritos, all the things on the inside Mm -hmm. are all going to taste the same. With Chinese food, you can branch out and try different things, not including you've also got like sushi, you've got ramen, like all this extra shit that you'll never find. Is a ramen at a buffet? We're not talking about a Chinese buffet, Shout you stupid ramen. son of a bitch. Shout out ramen, though. This is Chinese food versus See, Mexican food. But the thing is, though, is that if I never went to a Chinese restaurant, I can only base it on a Chinese buffet. So I win again. You don't, because I'm defending <laughs> Chinese. You're defending Mexican. Defend again. the egg roll. Yeah, see, there we go. Egg roll? Right, I versus prefer, anything in a Mexican restaurant. I prefer a spring roll, and I would prefer. How does a spring roll educate me? Spring roll is the but the like, thinner kind. Yeah, and they have a little bit more crunch. The egg roll is kind of soft, and they do have more inside of them, and they usually are larger. But I prefer the smaller ones, where it has like a little bit of a crunch, and it's more of just like cabbage and carrot mm-hmm. and that kind of thing on the inside. It's oh, absolutely okay, delicious. Okay. It's honestly like uh, a Chinese version of a taquito. Because oh, okay. just, it just rolls yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. I can like, see that. you don't fold it in or anything with a spring roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. Yeah, same. I didn't even know until that. Yeah, I definitely prefer spring roll, but I do like egg roll, so I can mm-hmm. talk about an egg roll. Um, but with, I'm going to defend more on spring roll because that's what I prefer. I'm just saying, if you gave me the option, if you told me, like, hey, you're going to prison and then your life is ending and you got one last meal, mm-hmm. I'm going to choose Chinese over Mexican because I just, I, I think that it has better taste. I, with if a spring roll, it's like, okay, what would you rather have a taquito or a spring roll? We'll say that we'll put those two head to head right now. I would choose spring roll every time, but I also, even though we're not supposed to say this, but I personally don't like taquitos. So that, you know, Goes Why against are that. you not allowed to say that? Well, I'm saying we're not supposed to just be like, yeah, well, I don't like it. Like, they're supposed to be. Well, like, yeah, but that's this is different because this is something specific in the world of Mexican. Right. You can't just be like, I don't like Mexican. That doesn't work. But you being like, I don't like taquitos, but and I like everything also, else. I will so say this. I can't really explain it. With yeah. taquitos, I will also say I've only ever had the frozen, frozen kind at home, at home. So if you <laughs> get them at a restaurant, they might actually be delicious. But the frozen shit... Not for me. Well, I mean, who would go to a Mexican restaurant and order a plate of taquitos? I don't know if you can. That's what I'm saying. If you can, get out. Yeah. Like, because that's not a good business. What right do you there. think about churros? Never had it. Oh, no. wow. Fuck with a churro. They mm-hmm. are fire. Cinnamon's on it, right? Yes. Yeah. Never it's just like it in my deep mouth. fried bread, basically. Fireball whiskey. It all tastes like Chinese food, so can't do it. <laughs> all right, churros, Mexican. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, so then you transfer a little bit. Let's talk about sides a little bit. Let's not mm-hmm. focus on just the main the entree, entree dishes. Okay. And okay. then obviously you can't count the the salsa and chips because that's free. That's not something you buy as a side. So right. let's get that out. Exactly. So let's talk about like with Chinese food, you've got wontons, you've got egg rolls, spring rolls. Uh, you can get the uh, the string beans, which you know is my shit. Mm-hmm. Um, you got at least usually... Typically, you can order from two different types of noodles. Depending on where you go, they have a much larger selection. Mm -hmm. But there's all these different types of sides. If you go to a Mexican restaurant, you're looking at basically rice and beans with a taco, burrito, enchilada, whatever the fuck. Wow. You just completely... Refi beans. Yeah, I know. Just beans, rice, and a tortilla? You got cilantro, Um, you got pico de gallo. I'm talking about sides. I know. Not what what goes on the burrito. I'm talking about what comes with the side. At a Mexican restaurant, it's always going to come with rice and beans. Where when you go to a a Chinese restaurant, you have a million, not a million, but you have a large selection of things that you can choose from. There's Mm -hmm. way more more, uh, diversity. There's way way more many options going to Chinese, no matter if you're talking about a buffet or you're talking about a restaurant. You can even be talking about Shogun if that's mm -hmm. what you want to talk about. But there's more options at Shogun than you're going to get at a Mexican restaurant. But with Mexican, though, it's not just refried beans and rice with everything like if you get a fajita mm-hmm. that's not coming with those right fajitas do they put on the side they but I'm like saying their own plates who the fuck would ever do that it comes with it 
you oh, order fajitas, disgusting. you get your fajitas, and then they give you a plate of rice and a plate of beans, usually. Wow, yeah. Well, that means sense, because I would never order fajita. It's too loud for me. But uh, <laughs> for me, I just don't understand, like, again, why the fuck would you go to a Chinese restaurant? And I'll take away the buffet. I'll take away it, you know, let's get it out there. I've never been to one, what a, yada, yada. But if you are eating an egg roll entree, because I don't know what an entree is at a fucking Chinese restaurant. So let's say if you're eating buklao or whatever, and then you have to have three egg rolls and then four spring rolls, that's not really a side anymore. That's a whole meal. Right, right there. but I'm talking about like one or two egg rolls on okay. the side. I'm okay. not talking, yeah. I I'm thought... ordering a plate of egg rolls. <laughs> oh, that, that's what I thought you meant this whole <laughs> no, time, that you're ordering a plate. Yeah, no, I'm talking, of... again, I'm going to reiterate this yeah. one more time, and this will be the last goddamn time that I say it. We're talking about sides here. Yeah. Sides only. Sides only. Okay, and I didn't even get into, we got, what, pot stickers? Love a good pot sticker. Mm -hmm. um, I know you don't fuck with sushi, but I do. Mm -hmm. um, and then you also got the hibachi side of things, too. So you can even go to a Chinese restaurant or a Chinese buffet, either one, and you can get Chinese food. But then you can also order it to where it tastes completely different than what you would order before. Yeah. There is nothing but diversity there. I mean, I get it, but I would never do any of it. So it doesn't so, matter to me at all. Hibachi top, doesn't. Top restaurants from y'all's defending categories, what would you say? Like restaurant hmm. well Taco Bell doesn't fucking count apparently in this uh, godforsaken I country anymore I would be kind of low-key disappointed if that was what your answer was I yeah. mean Taco Bell is the greatest restaurant on the face of the earth but you wouldn't consider like uh, not even the restaurant that we normally would eat at with Jacob and Matthew and them Puerto Vallarta El, Mal El Madrigals or whatever. I, I don't know what the name was, to be honest. <laughs> uh, I never said it's Garcia's or something ever. like that, isn't it? Oh, is it Gar oh, Garcia's? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, 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 with that, yeah. I might be wrong. Yeah. I don't know. All right, well, let's, let's I fuck with Garcia's. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I mean, you know, you got El Mazalon. Mm -hmm. It's good food. Yeah. Uh, so what's your favorite? I mean, if you say Taco Bell, I'm not allowed to say you can't. No, I mean, if, I just just if, know I'm looking down on you. No, I mean, you, you already know my fa it's the best restaurant in the world. And if anyone wants to get in the comments, let me know. I'll attack you personally. But uh, <laughs> Mo Southwest Grill is the best restaurant food you will ever eat. I don't give a fuck if you're going to New York and spending a thousand dollars on escargot and cum, whatever the fuck you eat. But you go to Mo's, that shit's worth it, and it's expensive. You get to make Mo's your own fucking is burrito. Tex Mex, though. It's not it, Mexican. You, mex, you, you said the Mex. You heard the Mex. When but you it's said it. different. There is rules to these things. There's ways these things work. There's Tex Mex. Chewies mm -hmm. is Tex Mex. It's no, not Mexican yeah, food. Fuck Chewies. Yeah, never in my life. Same with Chipotle, Moe's. Chipotle. It's in the name Southwest Grill. Yeah. That's Tex Mex is South, about Southwest. Southwest. Right. What is Southwest? Mexico. What came from Mexico? Mexican food. So Moe's counts. Tex Mex. There's more Mexicans in Texas than anywhere. Okay. <laughs> I'll agree. I have no Tex clue. Tex Mex, Tex Mex. Yet again, I won. <laughs> <laughs> favorite, favorite restaurant? Um, let's see. So I'm going to say I like Great Wall. I think they have delicious food. Really like quality good food. Willowgate. Uh, it's, another, <laughs> it's another great Chinese restaurant. Yeah. Shout um, out Willowgate in uh, Times Square in Minnesota. Uh, and then... Uh, I don't know. Because, like, I do love Shogun, but that's not, like, man, I went quality, to legit for his Chinese birthday, either. For his mm. birthday dinner, but they gave me so much goddamn money. Oh, yeah. <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> oh, let me clarify. I like Shogun. I don't need that fucking experience. Let me get this out of my system real quick. Oh, I'm I right. don't need you to cook in front of me. I don't need you to set an onion on fire. <laughs> I don't need you to toss an egg into your fucking hat. Yeah. I don't need you to point at me and tell me to open up my mouth and you're feeding me from across the room. You don't like them throwing flames right in front of your face. I'm not, we're not <laughs> no. seals. We're human beings. Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I have been cooking in a restaurant for 15 years. Mm -hmm. So going somewhere, when I get off work, to go sit there and hear spatulas clanging and a motherfucker mm -hmm. just acting like he's this great cook in front of me does literally yeah. nothing yeah, for me. I want that shit to go and bring it home and eat it. I don't need that fucking experience. Let's just say this. And I agree 100%. They give you way too much fucking Especially food. Especially if okay. you don't ask for the noodles and then they give you the fucking noodles anyway. Mm -hmm. Way too much. I've never finished show. And I've literally been like, no, I'm good. And then they keep adding it. I'm trying to tell you. No, that. that's what I'm saying. I was eating everybody all night. They give you both. Noodles, yeah, you can ask for both. And they noodles, can both on rice, plate, vegetables, and meat. 
Oh, it's man. literally like this big on the fucking plate. But you get but to bring that shit home and it this. actually still tastes good. Okay. Yeah. If you find Also, Chinese food tastes better warmed up than Mexican food does. So, let me throw that I've out there. I've never taken either home, so I don't know. I would never take a buffet home. Uh, saying, which one tastes better? Chinese. Uh, yeah, I don't probably believe that. Yeah, I guess. But, I mean, it's rice and yeah, it's, yeah, it's vegetables. Much and and say I want to reheat it but let's just, yeah. before we get past this, if you do like the experience of, uh, you know, you go to Shogun and you like the dudes with the talk, 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 you know, would you like to eat, all that shit, whatever, you're a white privileged fuck and you need better life experiences. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, yeah, for sure. Not to mention. If you think that's fun. No, and I you got big about fucking this. problems. The only thing that I really thought was cool is just the area that you sit in. Like, See, yeah, that's the, one, the thing. The one that we were sitting in that's the thing. I on. fuck with it if it's a group of people that oh, yeah, I'm yeah, with. But if it's me and you, and then we're sitting with 14 other fucks and their kids. Yeah. That happens? If yes. Yeah. Let's say if you go by yourself. randoms at the table and everybody yes. has to tell them what they want. Yes. Oh, and man, he can yes. put f- the food on yeah. everybody's plate. Fuck yeah. We, when me and him went with his girlfriend and my ex and their kids, it was us and then another family at the end of the table. Oh, wow. So our kids, mixed with their kids, a terrible fucking time. Yeah. And Wasn't a fan. That, yeah, not a fan. Mm-hmm. And you're not going... Like, you can't go to Hibachi or, or Shogun or whatever and then just sit at a bar and it'd be the same. Because, again, you yeah, if you want to, sure, but just go fucking home. If you're going to go to Shogun for a bar and not eat the food and get, you know, at least go out there, then fuck off. Where at least with Mexican, you go to the bar, you drink, they give you chips and salsa and they got for nice, free. They got nice right. drinks. A, yeah. Chinese people don't know how to make drinks. We've been there. They know how to make water. And it's delicious water. <laughs> I've never had alcohol in a Chinese water, restaurant. So. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, you gotta use water uh, to make rice yeah. <laughs> but until having this conversation I never thought about the irony of the fact that we're talking about Mexican food versus Chinese food but when you go to Shogun or Hibachi in general 9 times out of 10 it's usually a Mexican man who is cooking your Chinese food <laughs> or it's neither it's a Vietnamese guy Chinese right. offer you free samples Yeah. oh Ooh. another great point when where? Well, especially like at the mall and stuff. I used to walk by him at the mall, hit him yeah. like every oh, hour. I thought you meant you're going in the Chinese restaurant. I didn't even you... think about the mall Chinese. I won't lie, some of that shit's actually pretty good. Yeah. See, For but I thought, mall food? Lotus Express but I thought yeah, he yeah, yeah. meant that you're walking past the Chinese restaurant on the street. And they're like, uh, sample? Yeah. Like, that doesn't fucking happen. Oh, yeah. I fucking wish. <laughs> so, but yeah. you're meaning like the kiosks yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. That I fuck with. Like, Sam's I called. drive back and forth once an hour just to get the... <laughs> well, you take your glasses off, you put it back there on. Every time at the restaurant, she'd just be standing there with, like, a piece of barbecue chicken on a toothpick. Free sample? Like, hell yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get that at Mexican? Nah. You can't. Well, no, Chips. You want the free sample? Yeah, that... But I'm not going. But here's the thing. I'm about, not going to a restaurant for samples. You fuck. But we're talking about bonuses here. And here's the thing that's about not a bonus. Here's, it's not the restaurant. Here's the thing about chips and salsa. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. Chips and salsa are free. Mm-hmm. But if you go and you don't eat anything else besides the chips and mm-hmm. salsa, now you have to pay for the chips and salsa because then they consider that a meal. Mm-hmm. All right, battle done. Great way to stop it though. And remember. No, <laughs> <laughs> Right, well that got a little heated. Let's find out what the results are then. Who's right? Stop with the table because that's gonna mess up the sound of the podcast. Okay, hold on. Mexican food wins. Seventy percent to thirty. Seven votes to three votes. He is quite Fuck angry. This. All right, <laughs> General Sal. I will take my last. <laughs> General Sal is what they call me with these man things. <laughs> <laughs> my, my mouth's too dry. All right. Well, I will take my loss like a man. I won. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and you did not. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. The table is getting ready to Yep, I yes. got it. Yeah. So make sure, again, every Sunday you look out for the poll. We're going to put this shit out, and we're going to argue. We'll be back next week. Every Wednesday, we will have a vast difference. So thank you for everyone that voted. We love you all. Peace. A signing out. See ya. <laughs>
Yeah, so it's uh, 2 a.m. and I just wanted to uh, make a statement that I fucking won and I beat the shit out of Blake yet again on uh, Vast Difference. So I'm the champion. So, but I'm going to go to bed now.